Okay, well, I found this TV in the dumpster. It's a Vizio, 47 inch TV, and I needed to figure out what was wrong with it. Yellow light, when I plug in the power right here, the yellow light on the front would stay on and nothing else would work. Now, this is the on off switch at this point right down here. And, and when I push this in, I could detect with a multimeter that there was a three volts and that was going to ground. So doing some research, I found out that and also I went over here to the power supply and there's five volts, there's 12 volts, there's 18 volts. Only the five volts is open, was available. Everything else was off. Um, the five volts, of course, is gonna run. It's gonna put the TV in standby mode. It's gonna run that yellow light. And through deductions and research, what you find is that the processor here will actually monitor the signal at this point when you turn this thing on and then it detects it here and then goes ahead and, and sends a command over the power supply to turn things on. So most likely the main board was out right here and the biggest cause for the main board is the main processor which is underneath this heat sink. Um, there's, it's a ball grid array and it needs to be reflowed. It probably needs to be taken completely off, reballed, put it back on. But the quick fix is to use a heat gun right up here, right there, and heat it. And I heated it for about 25 seconds and I got things working. So I'll show you kind of a little bit more on what's going to go on. And I'll show you that how it works when it gets all finished. Jump okay. into the rework. I did want to talk about the power supply here. And I wanted to talk about the safety that you need to be uh, cognizant of when you're working around this power supply. So the AC line comes in here and you're gonna plug your, your, your power cord, you know, here's your, your power cord, you're gonna plug it in there at that point right here. Now, AC comes up into this area right here and this is high voltage, very dangerous. Um, in fact, you should not be touching anything here. Um, you wanna stay away from this area of the, of the power supply. Um, because this is a TV and we know that the chassis is connected to earth ground, it is safe um, to use your multimeter in this region. But really in general, you want to stay away from this unless you know um, what you're working with. Um, and I have pointed out that I did look at the voltages here. So these you can use, you know, look at your multimeter um, and, and look at those. But you have to be very careful about the high voltage in this area. In fact, you shouldn't be touching it. In fact, my hand should not be close to it. The fact that it's off is okay. Um, and there's gonna be high voltage on these capacitors located right here. Um, this is all very high risk type situation. So I don't want you, um, unless you know what you're doing and uh, you understand the dangers here, stay away from this area of the power supply. In fact, you can actually see kind of what we call this, this black line right here is showing right here nicely as a reinforced insulation. So everything on this side is called the primary and this is the secondary side. Um, this is all um, real high dangerous stuff. Um, unless you know what you're doing, stay away from it. This is your secondary. You're still gonna have high voltages. You're still gonna worry about um, those types of things but it's a lot less dangerous. You can come in here with your multimeter. You could actually use a scope attached to this area too, um, but you could not do that in this area right here. Um, with that, um, if you please uh, just be aware of, of the risks associated so, with this. So we're gonna be focused on repairing this main board. And uh, we're gonna be taking this off um, and you're gonna have to take this whole board out. There's a couple tricks. Um, these connectors are quite easy. Um, these just come off like this. Um, these ones right here, I wanted to point out, um, the easiest way to do that is there is a little, um, there's a little lever that you're gonna just kind of um, pry up, okay? And if I do that correctly, try to get that to the right spot before you, before you do it. You don't want, yeah, there you go. Um, so that's, you kind of get pried up right there. Um, and then you're gonna put it in that layer. And you see that line right there? There's a line on the ribbon cable. That needs to be flush with these connectors. Okay, you can also have a couple more connectors that are similar. You're gonna take this little lever and use a screwdriver um, or a real thin screwdriver and just, or a fingernail and just print, pull it up like that. And you need to make sure, you see that line, that needs to be flush with um, when you're putting it back in, it needs to be flush with that edge. 
If it's not, then you know that um, then you know that it hasn't been put in enough. Um, these are the tricky. Those these are same thing. You're gonna pry them up, pry them up. You're gonna pry that level lever up, and you can take the ribbon cable out just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna put this back in like this and see if I can do this. It might take me a little longer than I expected. I pushed it back in. Okay. So you're gonna take these all these ones off. Right here, 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 there. Take those off. Um, you're gonna undo these screws right here. Um, there's a screw right here. There's a couple screws right here. Um, screw right here. Um, and screw right there. And then, then this thing will just come right off. Um, another thing you think about is that these things right here look like they go to the Wi-Fi. Um, you can see there's Wi-Fi antennas, some sort of antenna solution. They might one might be Wi-Fi, one might be Bluetooth. I'm not sure. Um, you can just pry these off. They just come off if I just pull this off like that. Um, then it just came off like that. I gotta put it back on. Um, it's a little tricky to put back on, so uh, be aware. Um, in fact, I'm not gonna try it right now. Um, there we go. Oh, no, I didn't get that on. There we go. I got that on now. Okay, so that's your antenna connection. So those are the tricks there. Um, we're gonna be taking now we're going to take about the heat sink. We've got to take this heat sink off. Here's the steps. First of all, you're going to undo these two screws. Now, between the top of this heat sink and then there's a heat sink underneath, there's some tape. That needs to um, be pried off or, in, or melted off, okay? And then underneath that, we have the other heat sink, which is another piece of tape, okay? Um, this board right here is soldered. This, this heat sink is soldered into the board. So first you're gonna do is desolder it from the board. You're gonna make sure it, it's not connected. There's a, um, in this, around this side here. Then you're gonna take these screws out. And one way is you can heat this up while you're heating it up with a heat gun. You can just be prying it nice and easily up to ensure that it does, it comes off that heat sink um, smoothly. Um, what we did, slightly different than that, is we used a screwdriver that would go inside and we put pressure on the base of the device. Um, we kind of pried it up and then pulled this off, ensuring that when we pull this off, you're not going to pull the ball grids array away from that processor. So that was by far the trickiest point here. Um, and I didn't get video of that, but I'm describing it right now. Um, that was the hardest part. So I suggest take these screws out, desolder um, out on, on the back side of the board. You're going to desolder this. You're going to make sure that those are loose from the chat, from the PCB board. Then you, I would use a heat gun right here and just get this nice and hot, and then just kind of melt that. Wait till that that glue melts, and then lift it off. Um, the other thing you can do is you could. You put a screwdriver in there, look really in depth right through that hole, and you see the top of the processor. You could put a small screwdriver in there and then pry this open. Um, I would suggest try the heat gun first. Okay, so I'm going to show you where I've taken off the heat sink on the processor. This is on the main board of the TV. And I've taken the heat sink off, which is shown right here. Okay and I've pulled that off. And I've also taken off this piece right here, which was placed right on top there. Um, both of those are needed. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna heat this up. And the goal is, is to place it around. I placed the heat sink about two, two, two two and a half inches away from the device. And I timed it um, at high heat and I did it for 30, 25 seconds. Now I tested this with another board um, and using another chip. I looked on some things that are available, some other videos, and I saw them where they used a different chip and I tested that same heat gun over a similar board, similar size chip, and I got the things to come off in around 30 seconds. So I knew by shrinking the time down a little bit, I could heat it up to the right temperature. So after I did the reflow, I wanted to kind of show what the steps I did um, to finally uh, check out the TV that I was working. First, I, I went ahead and plugged it in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And uh, I'm going to do that with the 
second. Okay, and then when the plug-in comes in, you see the yellow light turns on. Um, what you'll notice is that um, during this, it, it goes through a reboot system, and it's going to be blinking on and off for a little bit. And I, I've, I've since determined and found out that pretty much it does it every time that the power is removed from the socket. And then you first turn it back on, it goes through this reboot system. So if you see this blinking light, um, it um, should be okay, at least in my TV. I've, I've really seen no different, nothing wrong with it. Uh, I went ahead and did buy, I did find on uh, Amazon uh, the remote for this. I couldn't, I didn't see this when I found it on the side of the road. I didn't see the remote with it, but I went and bought it. It was like $10 from Amazon. Um, it has a little QWERTY keyboard and so on. Um, and then I think you just hit the power button. Okay, where you use the button on the side and uh, kind of comes up. So there it is. That's the repair. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If there's any questions, please uh, thumbs up. Uh, please put it, you know, send me a comment. Also, thumbs up if you see it. And then, um, and I'll put some notes also in the um, down below the video. Okay, take care.